Hello guys, welcome back here and one of you guys asked Hey guys, is there any chance that you can come up with a recipe for fruit crumble? Yes, we did. It took a little bit of a long time. I did it over 10 times. I wanted to give you something what is really, really good and keto friendly. And this is what we're gonna do now. If you are new to the channel, just hit this red subscribe button and let's get cooking. And you will need a box of frozen berries. I'm going with raspberries and blueberries. Just go with frozen one, it's much more affordable and you can still buy cheap and organic. You need a form just like this one, everything will be in the description box below. And a little bit of shredded almonds just like this one, it's an optional thing. And a choice of your sweetener, I go with xylitol today. A little bit of almond flour and depends on your beliefs, either beef gelatin powder or zanatan gum. To make it a bit more stick together and the total secret ingredient what i don't think anyone using is a pinch of cayenne pepper it will bring out the berry taste so much more than using salt or anything else that it will blow your mind and now let's just throw everything together you add a third of a cup of zilital to this pinch of cayenne pepper just like this and then you make this up I'm going with beef gelatin powder and you just add a teaspoon to this and mix it together very good now you get your high form and just throw everything into here And now this goes into the oven for about 25-30 minutes on 150 degree. Fruits are out of the oven after 25 minutes and they are beautiful and smell amazing and we will make the crumble to the top and you need a bowl, almond flour, 2 to 3 tablespoons of almond flour, 30 gram of ice cold butter, now use your fingers to mix it together like a crumble and use the flour to take up the wetness of the butter. You can see now this is a beautiful crumble and I only used half of the butter so I think 15 grams is enough. Now we are going to add 10 grams of shredded almond but this is totally optional and you just mix this nicely together now you just sprinkle the crumble on top and now this goes back to the oven for about 10-15 minutes on 200 degrees as you can see it started to bubble at the edges and that's what you want that's when it's done and this is ready we will wait until this is cools down a little and then you can serve it with some vanilla keto ice cream i will try the ultimate keto fruit crumble now with this keto ice cream Mmm, amazing. This pinch of cayenne pepper brings out the berry taste so, so much. You will get such a rich berry taste. It blows your mind. All right, I will finish this up. And I hope you like this video. And I hope you out there who requested this recipe like it. Please let me know, comment below. And see you in my next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.